Welcome to Foreign Words of the Week. I'm Susie Dent, a lexicographer and etymologist who has sat in Dictionary Corner on Countdown for 30 years, judging English words offered up by contestants. But my first loves were really German and French and foreign languages. And today I'm going to bring you some of my favourite words from around the world, discussing where they've come from and why they've made the cut. Do subscribe to Rosetta Stone's YouTube channel below so you don't miss next week's episode. For now though, when you're learning a foreign language, slang is one of the hardest things to pick up, simply because it moves so fast. By the time you've cottoned on to something, it may well be out of date. You can hear more on slang where I speak to Alex Rawlings, Henning Veen and a university professor on the More Than Words podcast, also available here on YouTube. But now let's have a look at some of the best slang from around the world. Even if it is by now already on the move, it will offer you a glimpse of the real language on the street. If someone is as good as gold or behaves like an angel, they might be said in Spanish to ser un pedazo de pan, to be a piece of bread. What bread has to do with being kind, generous and good is anyone's guess. But the food is an essential staple of life and features in many English expressions too. Business jargon tends to get a bad rap as being a lot of pretentious hot air. It is what it is. Let's circle the wagon's EOD and see if we can't flip that over and get the North Star back in the sky. But it often moves away from its original context into slang. The Chinese yi bikong chu shi is no different. It means roughly the same as are we all on the same page? But its literal translation is, are we breathing through the same nostril? <laughs> Sol in Korean describes someone who has never dated anyone. Essentially, it translates as single from the womb or since birth. Neither exclusively positive nor negative, the suggestion is that perhaps they were destined to be that way all along. Gesicht. Well, not an entirely new example of slang, this German word surely deserves a mention. A Gesicht is an oh-so-pity way of describing someone objectionable. Its literal translation is a face deserving of a slap. <laughs> like many other languages, French has a form of slang which is encoded by inverting syllables or even spelling words back to front. In English, this is Pig Latin, and in French, it is known as Verlon. Merci, for example, becomes Cimer, and other such inversions are very much part of modern spoken French. Zarbi is a more recent example, which is a shortened form of bizarre. To tell someone ton idée est trop zarbi means it's way too strange. Il n'y a pas vraiment d'info hein, sur ces comptes zarbi là. Estar como una cabra. If you're behaving like this in Spain, you are, as we might say in English, out to lunch. With well, a literal meaning of be like a goat and used mostly affectionately, it's used to people who are, let's say, not entirely rational. I have goosebumps, people! And there you have my foreign words of the week. I hope you come to love them as much as I do. But do please comment below and let me know if you have any fantastic foreign words that we could feature in future episodes, or if you have ideas for other topics that you'd like covered. Make sure you subscribe to Rosetta Stone's YouTube channel so you don't miss next week's episode and click the link in the description for exclusive offers on all their language learning courses. I am learning Spanish with Rosetta Stone and I'm having a lot of fun. See you next week.